Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time we're going to show you how to change a CMOS battery in your computer. First off, you might wonder why would you need that, what does it do? One of the things is it keeps track of your system time and date. That's the most obvious thing that you might notice if your system date and time is off every time you turn the computer on. That's because the CMOS battery is not working right or it's dead. So every time you turn the computer off, it loses power to the BIOS and it resets the information in there. You may also notice some other information in the BIOS might get reset, and so it's going to lose all that other customized information or settings that you've put in there. So it'll go back to factory defaults. So I'm going to show you how to change your CMOS battery. First off, you'll need one of these tools here, something like a guitar pick or some plastic devices like one of these that can be typical with some laptop repairs. I'm going to do with this guy. So if we look inside a computer here, we're going to see right here is our CMOS battery. So on the side here is a little clip. So we just want to pull that to the side and the battery should pop out. So you can see it jumped. Now all we do is just get underneath on this one side and lift it up. Here's our battery and you can see the uh, model here. You can pick these up at the dollar store even. It's um, a very common battery. It's not difficult to find. And to put it back in when you get the new one is just reversing the process. You'll see a little spring down there. So you're gonna wanna just put the battery in and simply push it down and it clamps down. So of course while you're doing that as well, you want to make sure you're grounded somehow using a grounding strap or whatever other method you can do. You're going to want to make sure that the power cable is unplugged, the computer shut off, and you can even press the power button on the computer a couple of times to make sure that it's off and holding it down the power button for about 10 seconds. That just makes sure that the power is all cleared out, you're properly grounded, then you can remove the CMOS battery without shorting out the board and especially when you're putting the brand new battery back in. Once the battery is replaced, you're going to need to update your BIOS settings including the system date and time for one last time and then it will remember it going forward when the computer is off. And that's it for this tech tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing even better. Give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.